One of the downsides of using Affinity Photo is that it's pretty lacking in filters, especially when compared to Photoshop. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download and install a free plugin that will give you literally hundreds of filters to work with. And to show you an example of one of them, I have this stock photo that I downloaded. And with a single click of a button, I was able to create this effect right here, which is something that's normally not possible with Affinity Photo and its limited filters uh, as it is. So let me show you how to do this. Before we get started though, be sure to join my mailing list to get over 200 free design templates, including logos, avatars, textures, infographics, and so much more. As a member, you'll be the first to receive the free templates that I send out each month. So this is the plugin you will be downloading and installing. It is known as Gimmick, and if you are a GIMP user, then you're probably familiar with this plugin already. This was originally made for GIMP, and it's been around for quite a while, but it does work with Affinity Photo as well. So check the link in the description of the video to access this page, and then click on the download button. And I'm going to scroll down here and look for the Affinity Photo link and click on that. And it's going to open a new tab into a GitHub page and scroll down here and look for the correct version to download. Now, if you're a Mac user, unfortunately, you won't be able to use this plugin. This is only for Windows users. So I'm going to come over here to the X64 option and click on that to download it. And make sure you save this zip file in a location on your hard drive where you can easily access it. And then go ahead and, and extract the folder at that location. Now let's head back into Affinity Photo and open up the Settings menu by going to Edit and selecting Settings. Come over here to where it says Photoshop Plugins and tick the box that says Allow Unknown Plugins to be Used and then click the Add button to choose the location on your hard drive where you extracted the folder to. Once I've located the gimmick folder, I'm going to click on it to select it and then click the Select Folder button. You should see it populate in the list and then click the close button and you will be prompted to restart Affinity Photo. So go ahead and click on the yes button to restart the application. Once you've relaunched Affinity Photo, you should be able to come up here to your filters menu, come over to plugins, and then you will see gimmick and gimmick QT should be the first option. Now, if it's grayed out on your screen, then just come over here to the image layer, right click it and select rasterized, and then you will be able to edit it. So now that that's done, I'll come back up here to filters. I'll choose plugins, gimmick, and the first option up here. And this will open in a separate window. If you come over here, you can see there's over 600 filters available to work with, and they are all categorized in this list. And you can expand one of these categories. Uh, for example, here, I'll expand the artistic option and you can see the one that I have selected here. You can also use these settings to increase and decrease different values such as sharpness, amplitude, so on and so forth. The one that I used for this thumbnail of this video and this demonstration was the Hope Poster. So I'll scroll down here to where it says Hope Poster and you can see the effect that creates. And once you're happy with how it looks, you can just click the OK button and you'll have to give it a minute to do its thing, especially if you're working with a large image like I am here. And you can see we created the effect just like that. Now, one thing you'll want to keep in mind when using this is that this is a destructive process. So once this is applied, there's no going back unless you undo it. So what I would recommend doing is making a duplicate copy of your layer before applying this effect, because as you can see here, this is now permanent. So let me press Control Z to undo that. And I'm going to right click this layer and go to duplicate. And now I will apply it to that duplicate layer there instead so that I have a copy of the original image that's unaffected beneath it. I'll click OK. And if at any point I want to go back to the original image, I could just turn off the visibility of the effect layer. And there you go. So that is how you can use the gimmick plugin with Affinity Photo.